average person blinks eight times a minute, 480 times an hour, nearly 8,000 times a day. We may not think about it, but that simple act is critical to good eye health, spreading protective tears across the surface of the eyes. When the tear layer dries, people complain of tired eyes, burning or irritation, a sensitivity to light or blurred vision. It's a very, very common problem in the, the population, more so in females than in males, and more so as we age. But age is only one factor that contributes to dry eyes. The condition can also be caused by cold, dry, or windy weather, places where humidity is low. It can happen on an airplane, in a car, or in an office. Certain medications can cause dryness, antihistamines, antidepressants, acne treatments, and birth control pills. Hormonal changes or pregnancy may also promote dry eyes. And autoimmune diseases like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, or Sjogren's syndrome could be to blame. And finally, certain activities like reading or using a computer can cause the surface of the eye, the ocular surface, to dry. The reason for that is when we're doing any concentrated near work, such as computer work, our blink rate will decrease substantially, often by as much as half or more. It's the blinking process that recoats the eyes with new tears. Without those tears, our eyes can get irritated and more serious problems can occur. I first noticed that my eyes burned a lot uh, when I would do needlework, which I do a lot of. My eyes would just burn and they just felt so tired. In driving, which I did a lot of because I covered such a large territory, I started having where my eyes would start burning so severely that they closed because the pain was that much. And I wasn't always in a situation I could pull over. And I never really knew it was actually clinically a condition that there were some things to try to help alleviate the problem. In fact, 12% of Americans suffer from dry eyes, and scientists are hard at work looking for effective therapies. The first line of defense is tear replacement, keeping the eyes moist. Harvard's Dr. Mark Abelson compares cells on the ocular surface to fish swimming in a tank. Not only is their environment wet, but it's complex. The balance of salts and nutrients, the temperature and acidity must be right. The same goes for your tear layer. The tear film is extremely complex. There's hundreds, literally hundreds of various uh, components of a normal tear film. We thought if you just replace the water in the tear film, that was going to be adequate. We realize that's not the, the case now. The tear film doesn't just provide water, it also provides lubrication. So when you choose an eye drop, you've got to find the right formula. Look for a product that feels good over time. At the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center, Dr. James McCulley recommends a drop you can use four times a day or less. Patients will remember to do things if what they're doing is tied to a normal daily activity. Four times a day, simple. We eat three meals, we go to bed. Avoid prolonged use of drops that promise to get the red out. In my view, those drops on a long-term basis have no role, and they're actually dangerous because the blood vessels of the surface of the eye can in effect get addicted to them and require more and more of them and it also is a very artificial way of making the patient look better without approaching at all what's causing the redness. Think ahead and prepare if you're going to be in a situation where your eyes are likely to get dry. If I'm going to be going into a challenging environment, if I'm going to be working on the computer late, if I'm going to do a lot of reading, uh, if I'm going to be uh, dehydrated uh, on an airplane, uh, I want to use the drops in advance. If you wear contact lenses, you'll have to put drops in beforehand. No artificial tears are approved for use once the lenses are in place, but some can be applied in advance. And finally, practicing optometrist Stephen Cohen says, take comfort from the fact that dry eyes can be managed and rarely cause serious complications. Dry eyes this is a condition that, if it is uh, tested for, can now offer opportunities for proper treatment that can improve day-to-day -day existence, improve one's lifestyle, one's comfort, even improve someone's vision. For more information, see your eye care professional. Working together, you can find ways to see well and feel good, to eliminate discomfort and protect yourself with the blink of an eye.